I'm in Kells and County Meath with the beautiful children from Our Lady of Mercy School and they are out to promote fitness and sustainable travel. It's 8.30 in the morning and I actually can't believe I'm here. But I'm about to take part in an initiative with them. It's called WOW, Walk Once a Week. And when they do this, they usually have a theme and the theme for today is hats. So if the hat fits, Laura, what a turnout here in Kells this morning. <laughs> Is this a regular event? We would do this about once a term, yeah. Really it's just about getting all the kids together, those kids who can't walk to school regularly, come to the church here, park their cars here and we all walk together. In is a that what it's bus. about, Laura, is, is, is getting fitness levels up? Getting fitness levels up and as part of Green Schools, helping the environment as well. So we're trying to get less cars on the road and get the kids active. And do they like it? They love it, yeah. They absolutely love it. Everyone gets involved. Kids who don't normally get to walk to school really are pushing their parents to say, can we get involved in this morning? Well, we made it to the school then. <laughs> not so easy, I'd say, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes not, no. <laughs> they were in great form, and, it's, and, and it is wonderful. But what happens when they get to school? Where, where, how much of the initiative goes on? Well, it goes through our whole school day, really. Obviously, um, we are a very active school. We like to promote activity in the school, and that starts with our PE curriculum. Um, we give a very broad and balanced pre PE curriculum, like so many schools in the country do. Tell us about the Drop Everything and Dance. That sounds great. So the Drop Everything and Dance is we will be sitting, um, doing our work, carrying on it, our day as normal, and a song will start playing over the intercom, and we literally drop everything and dance. Lorraine Flanagan, you're with Antoshka and you're very involved in this initiative in school. You have been involved in this walking to Australia. Now, when somebody says that, you think, right, what, what exactly is that from a primary school point of view? What, how do you walk to Australia? <laughs> well, the walking to Australia was just a kind of a funky initiative that um, this school came up with. They wanted something different as part of their, their programme and they wanted to kind of really stand out when it came to putting in their application to green schools. And they applied to the local authority to meet County Council for a grant. They were given a, a grant to buy pedometers for um, two two full classrooms of children. So they use their pedometers and they track any walking they do, they track that and it's all added up and then that gets added on to the mileage on how they get to Australia. So within a month, I think they got to Italy and they're currently over the Indian Ocean somewhere. So they're nearly there. So all that has inspired me to get a little bit more fit. That's what I'm going to do. So now it's just a fast walk back from Kells to Dublin. So I'll see you soon.